Good evening, tasters. Nivler here again with another nightcap note. Over the Christmas period, I went to a barbecue at a friend's house. As I was leaving, I spied a single malt on his shelf that I hadn't either seen before or ever heard of before. It was this one, Glenmorangie Doorknock Limited Edition. When I mentioned it to him, hoping that he might give me a little taste, he gave me the bottle and said that I would probably appreciate it more than he. And there was about a fifth of the bottle left. So I'm grateful to him. Glenmorangie make a vast range of whiskies. It's uh, located in the town of Tain, which is to the north of Inverness, which is as far north as I made in our trip in 2007. Let me try and communicate to you what the door knock is like. Not the knocking on the door, by the way. So the colour is really nice, bright straw colour. Ah, oh, that's a really pleasant nose. There's, there's lots of floral stuff happening in there. Vanilla. Maybe some stewed fruit and there's even... Oh, it's hard to detect, but I think there's a little hint of smoke. It smells like it should be put in the mouth. Let's do that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oil, smooth, mouth coatingly lovely. There's a little bit of lift there, but it's just smooth as. And and as it sits in the mouth there, or what's left of it, there's some spicy uh, pepper, maybe some nuts like um, almonds. This is lovely and warming. Oh, a little bit of hint of salt along the edge of the tongue. This is a powerful and elegant whiskey, and there's a lot of vanilla in it. It's one, as I say, I'd never heard of before. I've looked it up online and it's not easily available here in Australia. For a Christmas present, this is extremely nice and competes well with the other Glenmorangies that I have on my shelf. I have exactly four others. So thanks, Don, for the gift and thanks, Glenmorangie, for the great whisky. Cheers. Oh, I wish I'd get presents like that a lot. <laughs>